So, I've been encountering this a lot lately. When you look at social media and a lot of encouraging places or sites that you can go to, you see all these great quotes that you're amazing and you deserve everything you want and that you don't need to change and that you're wonderful. And to some degree, I, I agree with that. I do believe we are amazing and I do believe that we deserve everything we want. But to think that just waking up and that alone makes you amazing, I think there's a bit of a disconnect here. I mean, a lot of this stuff on social media, it is wonderful to see and to read and to hear, but it's also very self-serving. It's kind of like the person who breaks up with you and tells you all these amazing things and yet they're still breaking up with you. It's like, they're not really saying it for you. They're saying it for themselves. So I think we have to strike a balance between this, you're amazing, and actually doing things and taking steps to become amazing. Because we are amazing, but you have to tap on what that amazing quality is. You don't just have it because you were born and there you are. And I know some people are totally going to disagree with me, and that's fine, but look around you. Look at the state of the world we live in. I think the problem we have is that all these people are walking around thinking they are amazing. And I've met a lot of people, and no, there aren't that many people that are amazing. And I really think if we focused a little bit more on the things that don't make us amazing, I think that could ultimately make us amazing. So, I mean, if I wake up every morning and all I say to myself is, I'm amazing, I deserve everything the universe has to give me, I don't need to change. I'm pretty amazing. But if I can wake up and I recognize, you know, my behavior yesterday was a bit selfish. I wasn't very patient with that person. Um, I'm being judgmental when I see someone do something or say something or wear something and I have an opinion on. Um, so I think we might be better serving ourselves and everyone we interact with if we can recognize that we are assholes, we are selfish, we're stubborn, we're impatient. And if we can do that, then we're on the lookout for those behavior pattern, behavioral patterns and then we can change those patterns. But if all I say is, I'm amazing, there's no need to change amazing. So let's strike a balance between you being amazing and you actually becoming amazing. And you'll become amazing if you can catch yourself every time you're a jerk, every time you're impatient, every time you're rude to someone who's helping you or providing you some type of service. And I say these things not because I'm calling anyone out on it. These are all the flaws I have. And the one thing I think saves me is that I'm impatient, I am selfish, I am stubborn, I want things on my terms, on my time. And when I see that behavior coming up in me, and I'm like, oh, okay, stop, check yourself. And then that, is what ultimately will make me amazing. I mean, my dogs are a perfect example. I love my dogs with every fiber of my being. And there are days I wanna strangle them and make hot dogs, but I don't. Um, and I have to remind myself, you know, that amazing feeling I have when I'm with them. But anyway, take it easy on this whole, I'm amazing, I deserve everything I want, I'm wonderful. No, you're not wonderful. You deserve everything you want when you put the work into it. And I'm not saying this as, um, do you have to, you know, juggle balls or spin plates to demonstrate that you're amazing, but you really have to, you know, really amazing. That's a huge tall order. So if you're going to be amazing, then yeah, let's be amazing, but do the work to be amazing, not just because you woke up. So um, if you don't agree with anything that I've just said, good, don't agree. Go on, keep living your life and see how it works out. Um, but if anything I said bothered you, then go check it out. Don't, you know, clearly what I'm saying must be true because if it wasn't true to you, it wouldn't bother you at all. So in my limited view, that's what I think. What do you think?